All right, guys. I'm challenging Charles to three fish in five minutes, but I want you guys to see this awesome school. Real quick. I think he can handle it. All right. So, you up for the challenge? Three fish in five minutes. Three fish? Hold on a minute. Did you just say three fish in five minutes? <laughs> three fish in five minutes. All right, where's the minnow? All right. You want three fish in five minutes, he says. Three fish in five All right, minutes. All well, I guess you can start to start the counter, right? Yep, I got it. You got it? I got it. All right. Five minutes. Let's see where we're at here. There's one. There's one. Hey, I still got four minutes left. Huh? <laughs> I still got four minutes. How many have you got? <laughs> You challenged me to fire, what, five fish in five minutes? I wouldn't know. What was it? Three, three fish, fish in five, five minutes. minutes. Jeez, three fish in five minutes. Jack, I don't know about all that. That's pretty, that's a tall order. That's a tall order. That's a pretty tall order, I will say. Lost another one. You're coming up with some strong orders here, bro. Yeah. All right. Get this minnow on here real quick here, guys. I'm losing time. Time. I think I'm spending more time out messing with anything else, right? Than I am. Three fish in five minutes. Three fish in five minutes. You got one. I'm at one. Yeah, you got, no, you got one fish. Oh, I do? Yeah, that's right. Yeah. Yeah, I caught one. Three minutes remaining. I know that's a tall order, but. <laughs> tall order, huh? Yeah, give him some, something exciting for the end here. Yeah. <clears throat> challenge? Challenge, under the lights. I like challenges, you know. I like challenges as much as the next guy does. Yeah. There's a lot of minnows over there, huh? Oh yeah. Let's here, let's throw over there and see what we got, if we got any fish over there. Yeah, there's a schools. A lot of minnows. How you feeling about this challenge? Don't know. That's a pretty steep water. That's like a fish every, what, one point something minutes. Yeah. You know? Where do you want them at? Off the bottom? <laughs> hey, anywhere you can catch them. Huh? Anywhere? Yeah. Are we counting dinks? Hey, you can count dinks. Fish is a fish. Wait, whoa, wait, whoa, stop. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Don't touch it yet. <laughs> okay, guys. Okay. Let now we just got serious. Let it run. Now it just got serious. We just got bit on a flathead rod, boys. Okay. Cancel that for tall order for a minute. We just got bit on a flathead rod. He hit it, and they usually come back, Jack. They'll come back. All right. That's what I wanted to see, brother. Right there, right? Yep. See, I knew they were gonna 
be over there by that pump house. They're letting this water out, man. Ooh, nice. That's number two. That's two. He hit it, dude. He smacked it. I seen him smack it. Good. Now my cameraman's all excited. Yeah. <laughs> Cause that was his rod that just went off. <laughs> all right, I got another minnow on, so I'm back on there. All right. All right. Let's get back on there. He just tapped it again. He just tapped it. He's playing with it. Oh, yeah, he is. If it was a really, really big one, they'd just grab it. But the smaller ones... There's the three. He got it. He got it. You got anything to say about that challenge? Well, five minutes ain't up. <laughs> right? Yeah? Five minutes in here. Let's use a dead minnow. It's up. As of right now. <laughs> oh, that right. I know dang well that wasn't five minutes. That was five minutes. Was five minutes? Yeah, that was five minutes. <laughs> Got it right at the deadline. Did I really? Well, that's always a plus, right? Yeah. Sometimes with these dead minnows, you can just hook them through the eyes. You know what I'm saying? Right. And Run you can just them. go like this, back and forth. And raise and lower the tip of your rod. Yeah, we taught him that, I think, in one. Did we? Yeah, I think so. Yeah, we might have. It's a nice little trick. And it works. Huh? And it works. Well, yeah, it works. It works great. Oh, you can always throw them by right out there to that outskirts of that light, man. I don't even want to talk about that. We've been talking about the outskirts <laughs> of the light for two segments. But it's killer. I mean... It's something that everybody should know. These guys got to know that, Jack. Yeah, absolutely. You know what I'm saying? They really do. They got to know that. Always remember fluid movements. Real fluid movements. Natural movements. Especially when you're under this light. You can catch them with the aggressive jigging. But I find that you have a lot more success when you're just smooth, fluid movements. You know what I'm saying? Just try to stay below the school of minnows. That's pretty much all I do. There's a lot of information to learn on this technique, but if you just break it down in the, you know, in the segments that we, you know, that we taught them, you know? Yeah. That's all you gotta do. You come away a crappie, uh, crappie master, that's for sure. A crappie master? I don't know if I'd call myself a crappie master. Maybe crappie lucky. You know. I do gotta say, I've caught more crappie with you than... And big ones, too. Yeah. Location equals behavior. Absolutely. Behavior equals presentation. And I think I just got crapped on by a heron. <laughs> I did, dude. Oh. I just got crapped on by a heron. How'd that make you feel, man? Not good, man. It's that, it's that one that was sitting over there. <laughs> yeah, I think he took his fish. I think you, know you outfished him. How about this one, boys? Oh, How about that, wow. herring? That, my friend, is what a Mosquito Lake crappie looks like. Take that, blue herring. Get in there, boy. All right, man. We're done. You guys all take care out there. Happy crappie hunting.